Within a makerspace, students make the shift from being consumers to becoming creators, which helps to consolidate their learning and allow them to apply it to new situations. Every makerspace is unique, and the projects that are worked on inside of them are also very diverse. Some of the things students can do in a makerspace may include cardboard constructions, coding, 3D printing, Lego creations, green screen or stop motion videos, digital creations such as photo editing, posters, making infographics, robot building and robotics, circuits and electricity with paper circuits, sewing, woodworking, take apart or breaker space sessions, or inventing. One important thing to note is that a makerspace does not have to be a large physical space designated only for that purpose. Some schools have incorporated a makerspace into a part of their library, and some teachers have a corner of the room or a cart with some materials that can be used. The key thing is that it is an approach to learning that allows for individual students' passions and interests to be incorporated, which in turn increases student engagement. It allows for deeper learning where students can apply skills and knowledge to new tasks and experiences. Keeping all of this in mind, think of your students. What are their interests? What are their passions? How would they choose to explore and share their passions with others? And finally, what would their makerspace look like? How would you go about starting a makerspace for your students?